Ladies and gentlemen, we are live spotlight over the city. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Stan Long, along with the lovely T Terry T-Bomb Long and the one and only lyric rock star, Hawkins. Give it up. Give it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a wonderful show. Got a wonderful show, as usual. Got some amazing guests. They are in the building. You want to introduce yes, our yes, guests yes. today? Yes, yes, yes. We got some amazing guests in the building. We've got, if y'all been following me all week, and I've been bugging you with these reminders, but we've got... Fashion mogul. That's what I'm going to call him. Mogul. Yes. Mogul. Got a mogul. That's right. Mogul. Mr. Brian Lamont in the building. And we've got one of DC's own most talented vocal male singers that I have ever heard. I've I've been listening to his videos all week. You trying to sing background? What? You trying to get a background He already invited me to do background, sweetheart. Okay. Y'all, and they smell good, too. (laughs) <laughs> Mr. D. Ward is in the building oh, as yes. well, y'all. So yes, tonight ma'am. we've got a great show lined up for you. I can't wait. I can't wait as well. Shout out to all the WLVS listeners. Thank you guys for tuning in. Everybody that's watching on Facebook, thank you guys for tuning in. Let's do a roll call. Give me one or two people on Facebook. Let's shout them out real quick. Well, we got Mr. Jeremy on Facebook. Hey, Jeremy. Wait a minute. He's still working. Where the hell you at, Jeremy? I was like, he's he still working? He quit? <laughs> The hell? Shout out to the boss man in the building, Jeremy. Jeremy, yes. the head of Lizard Vision himself. He, he peeped in. I don't know where he is. He's supposed to be in here, but anyway. <laughs> shout out to him. Shout out to all you guys. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Always Charlotte, North Carolina. In. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, uh, Philadelphia, thank you. Ohio. We had some Ohio people tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Everybody, definitely ATL. Shout out to the whole ATL. We coming back. We be back down there soon, so keep your eye on for Spotlight Over the City. And don't sleep on our international viewers because I've got some of my coworkers who went to the London office, and they said they're going to stay up because, you know, they're on okay. a different time. So, right. hey, y'all. So, shout in out to London. y'all in London. Appreciate that's you right. guys tuning in. Everybody that's tuned in, we appreciate you guys. We I know you could be doing something else. Yeah. That's right. We international. So, um, let me just say this because we had a great time. Me and Lyric covered an event. Um, this weekend mm-hmm. had a, a, a great event. Shout out to Betty Murray, um, genuine sisters, genuine sisters supporting, supporting sisters. sisters. Yeah, really great event. Um, I, it was a great call just for domestic violence as well as uh cancer awareness, and so um some powerful testimonies that we got some people on the red carpet, uh purple carpet, whatever kind of car- what was it, lavender carpet, <laughs> um event. Mm-hmm. So um I'm gonna just say this, and I'm not gonna get too far into it. Never be intimidated by people if you feel like you're doing what you can be doing. What's for you is for you. What God has for you is for you. We don't feel intimidated by anybody in the media industry. We do our thing. We show up and do what we're, we're there to do. And um, that's what we're going to continue to do. And so I'll just say that and leave that right there. <laughs> but we had an amazing time. Um, and the event supported uh, breast cancer survivors as well as those that have been through domestic violence. Yes, and it was at the Howard Theater. Yes. It was a decent crowd. With Kiki Wyatt. Kiki Wyatt. And my girl, uh, what's our girl? Oh, I know some London Savoy. Songs. London, shout out London, Kiki. London Savoy was in the building. She did her thing. Really, I love her. She, I do, that's too. That's my little girl right there. Mm-hmm. So, shout out to her. Miss Shalene was in the building. The whole, like, it was just a really good vibe, right? Really yes. good vibe. Really good, you know, turnout. And so we like to support things that's for a good cause, and those are, those are the things that Spotlight stands yeah, for. Yeah, I'm so. very sorry I missed it. You know, y'all, my mom has been sick, so I've been down and out this week, but I'm here tonight. So, Ma, we got you in that's prayers. Right, we got you lifted up. Shout out to Carrie Nichols, Mom. That's right. Get um, well. Get well soon. We already mm-hmm. pulling for you. We know you're going to come through and be shining like new money and be up here watching us yep. on Spotlight over the city once again. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Much prayers love. to her. Much love. Spotlight news. Let's get to it. Wait. Oh, Lord. Father Jesus. Man. (laughs) Spotlight news. Spotlight news. Apple has just become the first company to be valued, the U.S. company anyway, to be valued at $1 trillion. With a T? Wow. With a T. Trillion. Wowzers. Not million, not billion. Trillion. That's a lot of dollars. Wowzers. The first company in U.S. history to become a trillion-dollar company is Apple. Wow. Would you expect it from anybody else, though? Like, uh, shout out to Apple. They've been really plugging in. I wish they do better phones that last more than two years. <laughs> and take but, better pictures. And take better pictures. Y'all pictures suck. But at the end of the day, Apple is a leader in the industry. Yes. And I want my Beast by Dre to stop 
working in one ear. They um, make they, <laughs> that's an Apple product. Too? Yeah, well, they bought it from from uh. It was it was originally a Monster product, mm-hmm. and Draynum had it, and then they somebody else started making it instead of Monster, and that's when you got one sound and one ear, and the <laughs> other one all dumb. So I guess Dre did hurry up dump because it was a dumb product at the end. So yeah, you, Apple, y'all was dumb for that move, but anyway, if you still made the trillion out of it, so I guess you weren't too stupid. So anyway, shout out to Apple for doing their thing. Blake Griffin. Man, what he doing? Put, put, put break. Look at this dude here. That's be that's pre child support. This look right here. So <laughs> Blake Griffin has been ordered to pay. Are y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this audience? This, I'm ready. This a month now. Just just brace yourself. I'm ready. Two hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars a month in child support for two children, two and five two? years old. Two children, two, not ten, Ooh, not a yeah. tribe. He ain't paying for no damn village. It's just two of them. So now, now happen? see, this is because uh, cause he makes two point five million okay, a month. So how much is that for the? How much would my salary <laughs> be for the year? Two point five million a month. Um, two hundred times twelve. Two just rounded to two fifty times twelve. So a quarter million. So you got a half. You got a half a million in two in months. Two months. So in four months you're a millionaire. Eight months you two million. This child support. So what I'm trying to wow. understand, Judge. Hey, Blake, what's your number, please? I was going to say, babe, can we talk? I mean, maybe. Blake, what's your number? <laughs> Look, I, I, was I love everybody. You know what? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going just, to just, leave that <laughs> well, right there. I ain't got no husband. So Did y'all see how he right looked there. at me? I just said, so babe, anyway, can we talk? So anyway, um, <laughs> what y'all think about that? 258 a month? So now my thing is, come on, Judge. How much money do I need to pay for these kids and this wife to live good? Because if I gave you uh, uh, 50000 a month, what could you not do? At 50000 a month, your mortgage, say your mortgage 5000 Hell, you got a million dollar house, let's say ten, right? $10,000 a month mortgage. You still living good. Daycare, child support, all this child care and all this. This is another 5000 a month. Okay, you're at fifteen. Let's give them 10000 more a month for the kids. Okay, now you're at twenty. You got another... Thirty. So then, what do you need two fifty eight for? What do you? What are you? Are you trying to? What are you building a legacy with me of money? You ain't dribbled a damn thing. You ain't been no practices. So now, what I want to understand is what is this child support for? I can support you and your two two and five year old children with with way less. So how do you get awarded a quarter million dollars a month? Because Ooh, if if you married? if you stay with me with these two children, that is about how much it would require for us to keep up with how we're living when we're with you. So now that we're not living with you, we want to continue. You weren't living like that with me when we was together. Huh? You wasn't spending no quarter million dollars of my money in no month. How you know? You must be crazy. Yes, but did, but did between the two, where was you doing that? At? Because I got tuition. all the, the tuition for their schools. What school and they need? Two tuck. and five years old. What is school? My tummy right, tuck. Right, the things that are for me. That. That's on you. I ain't no, paying the tummy tuck. No, all of that tummy. goes in there. <laughs> all so, of that. Okay, so lifestyle. wait a damn minute. I got to well, pay for okay. your tummy tucks, well, too. No, that's included? That's included. Do you get them every month? Mm. <laughs> I'm feeling like the tummy well, tucks should be straight in that first month. That's the end of that. They go back for several, you know, visits. But let me ask this. Was she like LeBron's wife? From you know when he had nothing. Yeah. Or, you uh, saying is okay? So that's the thing. I don't know the backstory right, about how long they've been saying. together. That's I do important. know they have a two and five year old children. Two, two right. ages two and five. So I'm wondering. And if so twenty four hour nannies. We gotta travel. It's just yeah. If he, it depends on how much he makes. So now they saying that now I didn't know Blake. He bagged up. He making two point five. Actually two point eight a month. He, I don't know a month? what kind of salary he has to make two point five a month, but. That's what they saying. He so, played that good? Well, it's probably with endorsements and all this other stuff. But he isn't he dating on. somebody? I can't think right So now. he left her to get with somebody else, and she got in her feelings and was like, I tell you what. I ain't mad at him. You're going to have to pay me for that one. So, uh, Blake, mm. you got to keep that basketball in your hand a little bit longer now because this, this is going to be this a, little, this a little thick here. 258. Yeah. But Who you can afford it. But they Girls. came up, they came up the with world? the settlement. Girls. So. Who run this mother? <laughs> <laughs> Who run this mother? Keep it in moving, man. Jermaine, Jermaine Dupree. I, I like this one. He he made an announcement that his 25th anniversary of, of uh, So So Death, they're doing a anniversary culture currency tour. It's what? called Cultural Currency Tour. Okay. Right? And it's going to consist of all of his artists that he had his hands on in the past. It's going to be 11 City Tour. And um, it's going to have the brat, 
Escape, Jagged Edge, oh, Little yeah. Bow Wow. <laughs> Bow Wow. They say Bow Wow now, not Little. Bow okay, so Bow see. Wow. Anthony Hamilton made the cut. Did you guys ever know he was signed to So So Death before? I did. Never knew. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> shout out to Yumi. I almost told fact. on Yumi. When, when Yumi them had their hands on Anthony Hamilton, he wasn't signed to them. And then once that deal didn't go through with whatever they had going on, he went over to So So Death. So 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 Death had their hands on him for a long time. I don't know if he's still signed with them now, but he's on the tour. Um, Bone Crusher. I, I, wow. Bone, Bone really? Crusher. Bone Crusher. Wow. Okay, Bone All Crusher. I think about when I think about him is that belly. And that <laughs> you ain't thinking, I ain't never scared. I ain't no, that ain't come to your mind. That did, I just can't get past that the belly. belly. Okay, mm-hmm. Young Blood. What you know about Young Blood? He on it. I don't know him. The franchise, them franchise oh, the boys fran- on them, it. They got lean, like, dun, yeah, dun, dun, lean dun. with it. Rock yeah, with yeah. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah, T-bomb. Yeah. T-bomb. So you could go hit that. You could hit that. Shout out to the On the Run tour, too, though. And oh, J- yeah. and 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 and, and, J- and Jaquan is the other one on on it. I've never heard of Jaquan. So yeah, Jay and Beyonce did their thing. The show was amazing. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. Man, and that's the shirt that uh, Missy wore, and it has T bomb on the back. Of course, uh oh, uh oh, I like that. T-bomb. Well, Wait, the, the chair wouldn't stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do not fall. So the T the shirt has T bomb <laughs> on the back, and um. They had all their little shirts. It was Bootylicious and Big Booty Judy. (laughs) No, let me get it right. It was was, Uh T-Bomb. It was Big Sexy. Oh, Big Sexy. It was uh, (laughs) Slim (laughs) Goody (laughs) and Lady D. Lady D. It was four of us. Okay. We shut it down. Just FYI, just saying. Okay, y'all shut it down. Okay, Me, cool. Them, well, y'all was looking hot. cute. Y'all was looking cute. Y'all had your little, y'all little outfits on and all that kind of stuff. Outfits yeah, on. That but cool. I did come out of that show realizing Mom, I don't on. work enough. I don't work Man, hard enough. Like I haven't listen. I, they put in work, and what I got from it. Some people saw a show. I learned a lesson because yeah. I kept saying they stayed together. It's nothing like making getting that bag with somebody that you love. It is nothing like and that. And they have put in the work. Yeah. So they put in the work. Successful. They went through stuff too, though. Just keep in mind, they nobody, did. a lot of people who stay together like that and get to the other side, they go through stuff in the middle. Yep. Just know that. So if I had me a Becky with the good head, you got, hey, Jay has got excuse. You got excuse some well, stuff. Well, truth be told, if like, you want to, if you want to really put it out there, you told me that if you get caught with Becky, you gonna leave me. He <laughs> gonna cheat and leave me. Is what he said. <laughs> That's Instead not of letting what I, me forgive let him. Me, can I? Can I say go? You might get that. Let, let's be a clear. Month. Let's be clear. <laughs> I didn't say that. What I said was, I don't believe that women actually forgive when they catch a man. They forgive more than men would, because men, we dead. You dead in the water if, you, if I catch you cheat. But what I'm saying, <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. Listen, hear me out. <laughs> if men, WLVS listeners, Facebook listeners, y'all check this y'all out. Y'all weigh in on this, please. Weigh in on this real Comment. quick. If you are a man and you cheat on your wife and she catches you, and she knows that, not, not speculation, it's concrete yeah, evidence that you didn't stuck yours somewhere. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me just be clear. I, I, I'm 50. So what I do know, I've dated a couple of women. What I do understand, <laughs> don't do nothing, Lyric, don't a do couple? it. couple? Don't do it, uh, uh, rock star. <laughs> so <laughs> what I do know, I this is real facts. I read women the Women will say they forgive you, but they're going to use that as a go get some... Um, Free card. Penis. Which means, yes. Which <laughs> means if if you catch her, the reason she's going to not care is because she's going to hit you with, well, you did this to me and blah, blah, blah. So now we evened up. So that game will be able to be played with you through a lifetime. Right? And then anything you do that's out of the ordinary, where were you? What is this? Let me see your phone. What? Is, see, that's what's coming next. Just don't and change. so you're going to be crucified from that day forward. So I'd rather bow out gracefully and be like, my bad, I screwed this relationship up, but I got, I can't do it. Because I don't want to be punished for a lifetime. So if what, I thought you could so sincerely forgive it? it, well, well, why do anybody just, cheat? Why, why but then what why I have said, 60% I divorce rate? What I said is true. You said yeah. if you ever did that and I ever found out, you would leave. Well, it's circumstantial. Yeah, you if said, you carried it in a way that I think you would carry it, then it's no need to stay in because I'm going to get rough. It's going to get rougher. The relationship well, not Well, Vanessa stayed with Kobe because that coin it's gonna was bad. vicious. It's, it's going to be an uphill battle okay. if you stay. Because I'm telling you right now, if she catch you, only thing she's going to tell you is, well, you did it. And then what you going to say? No. No, I didn't. See? So then it's a... And then the trust has been broken. So and once you the, break the, the trust, you don't really is, have a relationship. Don't start nothing. That won't, you don't, won't be, be nothing. nothing. That's true. So why are you looking at Blake? 
Huh, not mind. me. So I anyway. can't even figure out who he's looking at <laughs> with them eyes that's going right. like that. That's all I need. <laughs> no, I buy some glasses. All right, so we got to get it moving. <laughs> you're going you to keep them. I'm going to keep them. I know, that's right. <laughs> Vanessa kept Kobe, B kept J. So, ladies. Jeez. And I'm going to keep staying. So, so <laughs> ladies, let me ask you, you this. Is there such thing as an ugly millionaire? Because of course. B- Jay Z okay. said, said, once you become a billionaire, you're cute. So I, I want to know is this real or is this speculation? Yeah. So one, he, Blake ain't even a billionaire. So right? Flavor so Flav gets $50 Blake. billion. Dollars. Is he cute? You're going you to let him tap Flavor Flav? He got $50 million. $50 million. Million. Is he cute? And he, he ain't and he, cute. In the dark, he look very good. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. so this is true. Oh, it's, okay, no. Rihanna. Rihanna became the first black woman to grace the, the cover of the British Vogue magazine for the September Go issue. Oh, Riri. So shout out to Riri. Of course, she's doing major things, but this is big because it's the first. So she's the first to do it. And so we're going to get on moving. I'm going to do my spotlight, shine, and star. My favorite part of the show. Okay. Why is this my favorite part of the show? Well, because he loves to spotlight, you know, the positive. underdogs, you know, something positive and find some someone out there who's doing something major and it's not all, I mean, we all ain't all hearing about it and we need to give them some props. We got to give them props because yeah. who else going to do it but spotlight? That's the right. So guess what? A 10-year-old, and his name, this this boy here, he was built for success. This, this This Bama here, his name is Clark Kent Apata. He's a, he's Asian. Okay. Guess what he did, y'all? He's 10 years old. He beat Michael Phelps' 100-meter record at 10, at 10 years old. 100-meter butterfly. I can't even... I, I'm like, how did you learn to how go that fast at 10 years old? Wow. But he just did it. He just beat the record for over a minute. It was like a minute and some change. He beat it by a minute and some change. Okay. So wow. shout out to you, superhero, because that's super, right? Yeah, that's super superhero. duper. This little Asian guy jumped in that water and... Brrr, I, I, I could swim a little bit. Wow. But when you talk about record breaking and Michael Phelps, right? That's a different story. That's a different swim. That's a different So at 10 years thing. old, I mean, you're talking about Olympic people who couldn't beat him, and, and they in the same age group, and they've been swimming since they was three and all that. Yeah. And they couldn't do it, and this is a 10-year-old. Wow. He jumped in the water and just crusted. Wow. So shout yeah, out to he you, is man. A You're a spotlight star. shining star, uh, little boy. What's his name? Can what's we squeeze Clark in one Kent. more shining star Super real quick? Star. Of course we can. Yeah. I want to shout out stars. my niece, Sunny. Sunny <laughs> was wow. re- Wait, wait, wait. Wait. That's my client. Don't, She's don't. my niece. You only know her because you know me. I'm her manager. I'm supposed to announce How do you know her? How do you know well, her? Well, I'll let you just have the spotlight. Just go ahead, Tim. I'm just saying. Sunny, I hope you're watching. What's the check? Sunny was, uh, I, she was singing to me the other night on the couch at like one in the morning, Keisha Cole's song, Love, that song. And it was, it was annoying to me because she was doing it so long, but so I recorded it and I posted it on my Instagram story and I tagged Keisha Cole and Keisha Cole reposted it her on, her story. Her story. on her story. Yep. So Sunny was famous all day yesterday on Keisha yes, Cole's Insta story. So Sunny, you're Go my Sunny. shining star. So Go shout Sunny. out to my baby Sunny, Sunny. who's also my client. I'm getting ready to get her a rich and famous mm-hmm. because she's a super talented she young lady. She is talented. This young lady has her own production company, Sunny D Productions. You can't Woo! be that. She's only nine, by the way. Nine years she, old. She I has mean, a production a company. The, she has Michael a Phelps. yeah, so, ten year. So, she, so she shout out to it. these little amazing kids doing some she amazing did. things, That's man. Right. Sunny, Sunny sings. She produces her own tracks. Sure does. She writes the hook. She sure writes does. all the lyrics. Yes, she does. Like I'm dead serious. Like real life yeah. songs from beginning to end, like yes, with she hooks does. and and she knows how to put a hook in the song and she knows like who makes the beat at nine and then writes the lyrics and then do the hook and <laughs> then compose the music My and niece. has a production company and uh sunny up cakes and all his cooks and all this the, the girl niece, bag sunny, you hear me? and she can she plays she can play the piano now by ear so if she hears if she think of her lyrics she'll start playing stuff she'll be like aunt terry i made the music up too Yes, that's my. I niece. told her, El, I, when I come, when it comes to music, stand long toward her. All of this, I told her what a hook was. I show her how to compose some music. I show her how to put a track together. Lies, fake news, Donald Trump, fake, fake news. news. So before we get to, <laughs> don't ever call me Donald Trump. And long, don't ever. That's the worst. Thing. Don't please don't call me. You call me Bush. Oh, Just don't say Trump. Okay, so look, that's right. You, you listen. Wait. The- I got to shout out the people now. We got I some people. I want to shout out Genuine Sisters supporting sisters in the building. Okay. Well, don't fight. Oh, oh shucks. We Dang. talked about them earlier. <laughs> Who we got in the building? Who is I'm it? I'm trying to tell you. Earlier, we told you guys about the event that me and Stan covered. 
We didn't know she was going to walk through the door. The hey. one and only, the hey, one Mary and only Betty, Betty, Betty Murray. Betty, Betty Murray. Betty, Betty Murray. You said Murray, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> it's Betty, Betty Murray, Murray. y'all. The one and only yes. Betty Murray in the building. She yes. got an amazing uh, situation. Sisters supporting sisters. Yes. Um, genuine sisters Sister supporting, supporting sisters. sisters. I'm sorry. And it was a great cause, like we said earlier, man. We're talking yeah. cancer awareness. We're talking domestic violence. And when I say great event, yeah. very well put together, very great energy, everything was to the good. Um, Kiki Wyatt, the homegirls, uh, London, everybody. I mean, everybody did their thing. I almost was on stage, but she didn't let... So she, her bag got a little thin when it came to paying me. So <laughs> I don't do backup. So that was the end of that damn thing. Her outfit was what? on fire. And oh, shout out to my little homegirl. What's, what's my homegirl design? Johnson, what's her name? What's last name? The Tiny, the tiny boutique. boutique. Shout hey, out to her. When I, I tell you, there. she styled this young lady and had her I so see. lit. And I mean, kept having it in yeah. rotation, though. Not one outfit. They kept on coming. Yeah. Shout out to Pinky Lee. I see you, Pinky. I see you, Carl. I see you, Toya. I see you. Uh, Please don't let me mispronounce it. Javanshi? That's what it looked like. Okay, well, that too, then. Javanshi What's Smith? up, babe? Uh, Raul? Yep, I see you. Um, shout out Big Jeff, everybody in the chat room. Shout out to everybody on Facebook tuned in. We appreciate you guys. Next up, we're going to bring our guests up and get ready to get yeah. it on. So we'll be right back at this commercial spotlight over the city. We'll be right back. I put the spotlight on your city. 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 See the superstars. superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. baby. A key modeling, baby. baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fee. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. baby. A key modeling, baby. baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fee. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fee. I put the spotlight on your city. Count it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our plus one. Mr. Yeah. Brian Lamont is in the building. <laughs> give, it give it up, up give it up, give it up, give it up. Thanks for having me. Man, we appreciate yeah, you coming in the building. Welcome you to Spotlight. Coming. Welcome to yes. Spotlight over the city. Thank oh, you. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, you all. Are we doing uh, the show, Chris? We <laughs> <laughs> can't check, talk right now, Chris. Well, he's checking on his Aunt Carrie, but he's going to have to call Cheryl. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, why don't you tell the DMV about all this fashion stuff and personal style and stuff yes. that you've got going on? It's a lot going on. You got right. a lot going let us, on. Yes. Who are you? Let us let He's the people right. tell Who are you? <laughs> let so my, tell you. My name is Brian. I'm going to go by Mr. Brian Lamont because it sounds professional. That's right. Um, I like but that. I am a wardrobe stylist, personal shopper, and an entertainment blogger as well. So I started with um, DC Weekly here with Ann Wakon. Um, with his magazine, I transferred into Hot 97's The New Movement. Okay. So I, that's why I write with now. And so um, most of my clients are in the area, and I have a few in New York, and I have one in L.A. Wow. Okay. So I'm busy, like, every single week. Um, I do have a 9 to 5, too. So that's what um, I do during the day. But my real passion is wardrobe styling. Wow, wardrobe yes. style, and that's your main, That's so that's at the top of the list. Yes, so even when I was in undergrad in grad school, shout H out to you? You know. <laughs> I was like, what, yeah, what the hell? hell? That's my came what in there. I was like, you just got me. You got me, Yeah. Yeah. 
know what to do. Right. You gotta give me a warning before you start busting all out all loud. Yeah, we think here. Yeah, but he came right behind me. Right. You know, I already know. Yeah, already know. Even in school, like, I always had a retail job. And yeah. was doing my blogging on the side because that's what I really love to do. Okay. And so I started my um, panel discussions. So that feature, like, a lot of people in the area that people may or may not know. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to highlight them. So their feature on my panel discussions. I so love my last that. Was last month. Okay. Yes. I love that. So tell us, like, you know, ideally, who would you love to style? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah who would you love to question, style? T-Bom. Like, who would you like to, to be on the other end of the phone and saying, Brian Lamont, I need you? Um, I would definitely say Candy. Uh, I think she could use that, too. Oh, Shane. You ain't never no, shade. no shade. No shade, but... Don't be talking about my other girlfriend now. You might have stopped all this, Terry. We been, everything was going good, T-Bar. You can't talk about Candy. That's my other girlfriend. I, I thought Nia Long was your other girl. I thought Nia Long my ex-wife. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm you in see, the middle of this. You see, she had to change thing. the last my name. Bad. You already see the long, the long in the building. <laughs> I'm in the middle of this. I'm going to go ahead and let it go for right now. Right. Man. Yeah, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Don't mm-hmm. swing. Mm-hmm. Let me know. No, I'm going to get them right. back in a different yeah. type of way. Uh-oh. <laughs> Brian was like, wait a minute, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, I would yeah. say her um, for right now. Okay. Because I love my clients that I have now. Um, one client is K.S. Lewis, Janae I Music. I met her the other night. Yeah, Janae yeah. Music. Um, Lauren, she's Miss Louisiana. I just oh, Janae yes. Music. Okay. Yeah, she coming on here, Janae yes. Music. Yeah. And I have one client, Jadea. She's in Philly. Okay. Yes. Well, do you do you style like the curvy ones like I me? I style all women. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm Even the ones with the fupas? Like, <laughs> we can hide that. We can hide it. Okay. okay. You want to tell them what a fupa <laughs> is, boo? You, 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 do you know uh, what a fupa is, babe? I learned when you told me. Why tell, them what, <laughs> tell them, tell them what it is. I'm not going to say that, but I need you to tell the people. Fat <laughs> upper mm, area. You know, P. <laughs> F U P A. They got fooders too, though. Who? They're fooders too. F U D A. I can't take these. I'm cool. I'm cool on that. I don't even want you to tell me that. Okay, T Ball. (laughs) You know what? You the troublemaker. I just can't realize. I made that term up too. I've never heard it, but I said, you know what? There's some, I've seen some fooders. F-U-D-A. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, men are allowed to have I a little chubby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once you're 40 plus, you should be allowed to have a little gut. Like a a fooder? 40 plus, you should be able to have a fooder. Do you have a fooder? <laughs> I do. You have a fooder, yeah, booter? I ain't even trying to get rid of it either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you ain't got to. You I love fooder it. Murray. We Murray. We I together. We like I a love unit. It, so that's all. Yeah, we matters. a whole unit. Right. <laughs> yeah, I love your fooder. I ain't getting nothing tucked or none of that. I'm cool on all that. <laughs> hey, I love your fupa too. Yeah. We're gonna rub fooders and fupas. Rub fooders and fupas. Hey, that's what we're gonna do. I ain't got nobody, so I'm gonna Let's keep mine. We got guests, we got company, man. Oh, okay. She ain't got nobody okay. over here. I'm gonna keep mine kind of slim because I'm still on the market. You got some okay. of the Lyric can't, yeah, can't, can't, can't even be in the conversation. She, people like that, get out of this conversation. Right. You don't have nothing to do with this. I'm over 40, so I'm just trying to make sure. Look where I'm gonna start it today. Yeah, okay. Let's get back to the show. Let's get back to the show. Company, baby, you gotta stay get, focused. Let's get back. To get you. back to the interview. Let's get back. To you. Tell us about um, New York Fashion Week. What is yes. that like? So believe it or not, my la- my first time doing New York Fashion Week was last year. Oh, cool! Wow. And everyone was like, so they was like, what? But it was fun. How was it though? Who was yeah. the coolest person you met? There? Like, who was the person that you was like, yes? Um, Whoopi Goldberg. Wow. Yeah. wow. Now that's what she you need, need to style. style. She oh, needs need a stylist. Yeah. Whoopi, hey Whoopi, I do is. like you, Whoopi. I think you're a wonderful person, <laughs> but your style is it sucks Uh-oh. all the way straight to hell. Like you should <laughs> oh. never. Every pair of tennis shoes that you ever put on, Whoopi, I was like, where did you buy those? Though? Like, they <laughs> sell those? Like, right. The hell you get them? <laughs> Toys R Us? Like, she does like really? a little different. Yeah. yeah. Like okay, does. so she likes to be. Yeah. I was gonna yeah. say, that's what she yeah. likes. That's her yeah. style. She has her own style. <laughs> But no, yeah. Fashion Week is a lot of people mm-hmm. around, a lot of mm-hmm. like creative people around. Um, but I definitely am working this season, so that'll be in September. Yep. So I'm, sorry, I'm excited for it. That is really you good. Be. Yeah, that's I, a big news. That, that, that I'm, is I'm yes. telling you, I love seeing you know young men like yourself doing their thing, man. And I Thank just you. you know I am your cheerleader now. So we always tell people when you come on this platform, once you in the family, you in. Yes. So you, you got somebody shouting you out. Let me let me tell you, somebody talking to you. You know Keisha? 
don't know. Somebody said Keisha you their Wells. favorite. Somebody Keisha said, hey, Brian, uh-huh. you're my favorite stylist. Uh, of oh, all. yeah, Keisha yeah. from Storytellers. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. shout out to you, Keisha. <laughs> so you yeah. must be doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Before, Brian, you went to Howard. I kind of really don't expect anything else. <laughs> But great, but great, yeah, right? I naturally like I love people, and that's you why went to I did social work as well. Oh. So mm-hmm. I love people. <laughs> oh, you did? You do social work yes. as well? My sister is um, a clinical director. She's all at mm-hmm. Dr. Neverson. She's uh, that's but she started as you know work. social yeah. uh, mm-hmm, in the field of social work. Yeah, she has. Yeah, her own she also went to H U. Yeah. She went to H U as well. Yeah. Oh, yes. your yeah. sister went to yeah. Dr. Yeah. Neverson went to H U. My sister went to H U. She's on the she's on the faculty now. Yeah. I knew it. I just couldn't put my finger on it. Yeah. Well, I went to HU. I just didn't stay. It I mean, that. You know, I went bad. past HU. Bad. You I mean, went, I went yeah. by the HU. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. You drove I past the I now. Kind of technically, like, if you, you, are, really want, right. if you really want to try me, sure. I'm at Howard. I knew you, know you were saying? special. Yeah, she went to HU as well. Yeah, yeah. she went to HU. So, I knew it. There's a lot of people that come out of HU that's really talented. Yeah, shout out to HU, that whole movement. Yes. They do have some. Shout out to my man, David Castain. Yeah, I know him too. You do? Yeah, homie, right? Hey, when I tell you that's my homie, hey, you need to yeah. pick up the phone too, man. I keep letting me keep going. He's always busy. Yes, he, he in Europe. Super busy. He in, Asia, right. he in China. He right. In, yeah. Right. And he used to be up the street. Like, <laughs> now I can't find him. But shout out to you, David Castain. <laughs> David Castain is one of my favorite Howard graduates. Cause I, did you hear his commencement speech? <laughs> anyway. Ooh, that's Ooh. David. You know David. Right, he's great. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So anyway, shout out, <laughs> shout out to HU and everybody up yes. there doing yes. a, amazing things. Shout out to Puff. Because Puff is the HU spokesperson. Like, he's like one of the mascots. Like, I'm right? HU, yeah. HU mascot. Did he actually go there, though? He, he did went, go Yeah, Puff went there. Puff he went there. He did like okay. me. He did like a drive-by. Yeah, But he was there. I think he popped. He started the parties. Him. Yeah, exactly. You know, with Mark and all oh, of them. Mom. So Mark Barnes went there, too, right? I don't know she if he must went be feeling there. okay. Okay. Look at me. Yeah, so um, Mom just here. joined on our um, Mom, my mom, like y'all said, she's been feeling hey, really mama. bad this week. But she Frank, did. what's good? She's joining she, in. She joined in uh-huh. so she could see y'all. She hey, moms. Mom. She wanted to Get see y'all guests Get better soon, tonight. moms. <laughs> Thank you so for listen, tuning in. Shout out to Frank. We, um, before we um, let you get off the panel, I want you to tell us and tell the viewers about some of the things you've got coming up. What do you want people to know about Brian Lamont? What is in store in the future for Brian Lamont? What can we look out for? Ooh, that's what you have to stay tuned and follow me. Oh, uh, shucks. On Instagram that's right. is Mr. Brian Lamont. But definitely New York Fashion Week is coming up. And I have my first fashion show here. That's going to be on September the 22nd. I'm partnering with okay. a photographer. Her name is Taylor. So okay. definitely stay so tuned So then we need to be at that. That's definitely, right. We definitely. need to spotlight over the city. Needs to be in the building. That's right. Yeah, for sure. Family. Oh, that's yes. right. Well, a lot of things are coming up. Um, I'm styling my client Callie. I forgot to mention her. Um, she's an R and B artist in New York. And okay. Chinese, you know Chinese Kitty from Love and Hip Hop Miami. Yes. Uh, he <laughs> probably <laughs> does. Yeah. Uh oh. Yes, indeed. Uh-oh. Shout out to Kitty. Uh oh. Ma- what? Okay, wait. Uh, let me bring uh, it uh, back. Bridget, Bridget. <laughs> I had got excited. Wait. I, was gonna I say, got hot. Hey, what? when you say her and her mother, her mother. Do you know what WTF I know her means? And her mo- <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, baby. I had lost no. my position. I lost my. I, <laughs> think I, I thought I was at Howard. I thought we was at Howard. We not at Howard. I'm starting stuff now. Right? Hey, when you say. <laughs> Chinese kitty? You mean yeah. Chinese kitty? I ain't yeah. even getting in that. I'm, I'm, I'm over here trying to get That's my, my favorite Instagram. Up. That's one of my favorite IG right people. Here. So it's IG, baby. It's just IG. Just IG. Like, we don't talk or nothing. We just, I just see her in passing on IG. Mm-hmm. And she be with her mother sometimes. Her uh-huh. mother mm-hmm. look really young and vibrant. Right. And, Fix and it up. That. Clean it up. Yeah. So, so shout out to her. Because we're going to put something really good together for her. Okay, well, if you, yes. I'm, well, I was very serious though. If you ever need yeah. like a guinea pig, I'm not calling me a guinea pig, but you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Like, I, I can't I, I'll take do it. it. Like if you be like Terry, I need so, to babe, what style you somebody. You have that's the got, energy for it too. Yeah, so I've got the this. energy, right. and like I said, if you want to show off some stuff for the curvy <laughs> side, I'm your girl. I will fit that down. Yes. So do I'm you do girl. like personal shopping? Because I love too? clothes. Like, yes. You do? Yeah, I mainly go to like clients' house. You, I can go out with you to different stores. I pull from different stores and boutiques and showrooms mm-hmm. too. Yes. In New York, I'm ready. LA. I'm here for it. So just let me know. I am I'm here, here for, for you. it. <laughs> My next event, I'm going to be like, Brian Lamont, <laughs> let's go get an outfit and get some stuff. Okay? Well, all my clients love me because of my personality. I, I just love to yep. be engaged with people. I love you're it. You're not just my client, you're my friend. That'll take so. you a yeah. long way, That'll though. take you a long way. Yeah. That personality so that, that, that yeah. don't have yeah. that old stuff. And when you make it... Mm-hmm.
wait till your character shows up, and if it's not proper, mm. the same people that you was acting crazy about, you gonna yep. see that's them sliding right. on back down that ladder. They that's gonna exactly like right. That's so true. I don't want, want nobody to come on this platform to ever have that come, happen to them. At least I haven't said it. So I always say, make sure that doesn't happen. But I don't think that's ever gonna be your problem because you seem nope, like a very humble it's person. Not. So, so why don't you yeah. give out your information one more time so everybody know how to stalk you? Like okay. I be doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, but um, on all platforms, it's Mr. Brian Lamont. Okay. And my website is MrBrianLamont.com. Y'all got that? Mr. And when Brian exactly Lamont. is New York Fashion Week? One more time. It's What's September, the date? Uh, it's the second week of September. Second week of it's September. The weekend so. after Labor Day. Okay, yes. y'all got that? Okay. Weekend after Labor Day. So weekend after Labor week, Day. So you'll see me out or DM me if you want to yeah. take some shows. And I'm not pinning you in a show. <laughs> yeah, so don't be calling tomorrow. Right. You said you was going to put me right. in there. No, he, he ain't say that. that. No, no, ain't no, he ain't one. say that part. Right, okay. Right. He said yeah. me and Chinese Kitty going to be in the show. <laughs> he ain't said a damn thing about you, so don't be you calling and up Chi- You right and here. Chinese huh? Kitty going to get these hands. Well, wait, babe, wait. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. You need to learn how to relax. God That's is good. God is good, girl. What is that? What is wrong you going to need God. You you go, you, you're going to need Babe, you can't act disgruntled. That's, yeah. We on the show. Poor Brian. Okay, pull it back. Uh, Chinese Kitty. Poor Brian. Okay. No. Brian, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry on behalf okay. of my team. I didn't bring this environment. We family. Like We like to make people feel comfortable. Here and have a good time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Brian. I'm sorry, I'm back. But you know, I was playing. And then she'll be like, My yeah. bag, I ain't meant to just. Right. Keep you just black out, right, don't well, worry I just about feel like if she can have Blake, I can have Tiny Kitty. I don't want like... Blake Griffin. Well, it's an even trade. If, if you're going to let me pick some, if you're going to let me pick you some, people, like I ain't picking him. Did she act like it earlier, y'all? No. Hey, hey, WLVS, didn't she say she wanted him? No. Come on. Blake Griffin, 258. That was me. That was Larry. with y'all. So anyway, Lyric, you can have Blake, but if she take Blake, I'm taking the Chinese kitty. I don't want kitty. Blake. I don't want Blake. If you I right. get to pick some people, let me pick my own people. I don't want him. Who are you going to pick, babe, before we get off? Not Blake. Just tell yeah, us. Gonna... Tell us. Tell the audience. Who are you going to pick? Um, this week, who am I feeling? Um, <laughs> she think this week. Um, Nasir Jones. He never leaves the list. Ooh, now that right there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he'll be in town. Pipe down. Pipe down. He'll be in town For the Spirit weekend. Fest, right? So he'll anyway, you guys. <laughs> yeah, so Kitty, what's her name? We have another Chinese guest. Chinese Kitty. Hey, boo. How you mm-hmm. doing? Nasir Jones. Hey. Hey. Nicki Minaj. Hey. 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 So anyway, listen, listen. She we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. Who deflated? Don't you talk about Nicki Minaj. Her thing but all that. that stuff is fake. You got yeah. real stuff at home, baby. Yes, I do. Look at here. Yeah, this I is know. all real. It's real. I'm Country like grown, home grown. She she got the mm-hmm. No, see, <laughs> K. Michelle is another one that I always liked. I know people say she was crazy and she's this and that. I just think she's misunderstood and I think she has some things she hadn't dealt with. But I really like her. As an artist, I think I she, know, she's a great artist. She's a little, yeah, she's a little like edgy. She's, she's a little a edgy, but she artist. can really, 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 really sing, mm-hmm. right? So on that note, we gotta let you get out of here because I know you got things to do. And we got another artist coming up, and he's getting ready to perform and hit the yeah. stage. So yeah, yeah. the stage, yeah, Mr. So, D. Ward. Man, we great. Yeah, <laughs> and and I gotta get my day. backup vocals together. <clears throat> uh-uh. I'm trying to remember. Did I know D. Wade from back in the day? Because I'm you know I'm 50, so I was thinking, did he ever sing background for me when we was younger? Background so, for you? Yeah, because I, I used to have a group. <laughs> Yeah. What was the name of the group? We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> <laughs> spotlight on the city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Philly. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina, I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina, I put the spotlight on your city. I 
I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See no superstars. Superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. And as you can see, we have a plus one in the building. Woo! Yeah, give it up. Y'all give it up for D Ward. In the D -Ward building. Is in the building. <laughs> That's right, DC's on. His, his Instagram says, who is D Ward? So why don't you tell them who is D Ward? Oh, man. D Ward is a father. He's a friend. He's a worker. He's a confidant. He's a military man. He's a Ooh, government worker. Wow. Man, we, he's a songwriter, singer, producer. We do it all. Oh, oh he's man. Okay, then. You the well, man. That's what I'm talking about. I saw something on there where you were doing something with um, Trouble Funk recently. What was that? So, yeah, uh, you know, part of my thing, uh, I'm also a member of uh, Trouble Funk. My yeah. man, big, my big brother, Big Tony. U B L E. Yeah. Remember yeah. that, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, drop the, drop the bomb. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's, that's back in the day. Yeah, yeah I remember that, too. So, okay. yeah, my man, Big Tony. Yeah, Classic. Shout out to Big Tony. So, the last Trouble time Pong. we saw y'all was at the Howard Theater. Y'all was at the Howard Theater with Tanner. They, they was cranking at the yes, Howard Yes, they did. Theater. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so shout out to the whole Trouble Funk thing. Y'all been, what, 20, 25 years? Nah, 38 years, man. Are you serious? Oh, wow. I've only been with the band for going on almost 10 years now. But still, that's a long time. They've been, they been in the years. game for 30 something hey, man, And still. So that's telling Big Tony's age then, though. <laughs> yeah, well, he started when he was 17. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wow. So. Wow. So you mm. primarily been like, you know, how when did you get into, you know, singing solo? Well, I really, since like the early 90s. Okay. Uh, writing and, and doing my own music. And... Uh, I got an opportunity, and she may not remember it, but if she ever watches this, Tony Braxton, when we had the uh, Budweiser Superfest, uh -huh. and uh, I got up on stage with Tony Braxton, I did my thing with her, then Patti LaBelle, she was at the uh, Budweiser Superfest, uh -huh. yeah, I was rushing I the stage. I remember those Budweiser yeah, Superfest. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to get my 15. That's so right. I know, that's I went right. Out there, but, uh, you know, sometimes life get in the way of life, mm -hmm. yeah. so, you know, Tell me life about took it. me away from here, the military. Iraq, mm -hmm. all types of stuff. But wow. then when I got back, uh, I said, I'm going to do this thing again. So I started performing. And then I got with my cousin, my manager, my rep, Showcase. And we've been doing this thing ever since. Been doing it ever since. Yeah. Wow. You have an amazing story, an amazing journey. You got yeah. on the stage with Tony Braxton. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we okay. could, if I had known that, then I would have practiced some of my song, favorite songs of hers. And then we could have relived that moment. Yeah. How about it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the next time you on the show, you funny. I'm going to be ready. Seven we can a moment. Days. For another yeah, show? Yeah, we can re like, yeah. For another show. I'm going to be yeah. the Tony Braxton, though. Huh? Oh. You already got the cut. Yeah. Okay. Well, babe, just say that then. Just hold on to that and just practice and then we'll get we're gonna bring you on another show um have you have you had an opportunity to to do any uh you know things around the in the city like you know to sing perform or? locally yeah. but uh right now we've really been working on this documentary okay talking about my journey because uh you know who does what i'm doing now know, most of right? most artists are already established mm -hmm. when they come mm -hmm. out uh, mm -hmm. so uh you know myself showcase my daughters uh, Sammy and Dan Diva, you know, we're putting together this uh, documentary about my life. So that's what I it's can't all wait. About. Yeah. I cannot wait. What's the anticipated, you know, finish? Yeah, give us some time. good stuff uh, out of it. Hopefully, we'll be yeah. done. Um, <laughs> hopefully, October, November. Okay. You know, we'll be uh, all done. Uh, 
showcase is still shooting his thing the differences so make sure y'all watch that as well okay yeah. i'm looking forward to that because like Absolutely. i say you know your journey is interesting and yeah. and it's triumphant as well because like you said you know you've done all of that and serving in the military shout out to you for that as Thank well because that's, yes. that's 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 something on a whole nother level appreciate that and um come back to say you know what i i still want to pursue my passion of singing that's absolutely. admirable absolutely yeah, and so then your album is titled the journey absolutely see the journey yeah. Yeah. so yeah. who's your favorite artist like who's someone who you can say inspired you to want to be a singer well it goes back to to my homeboy you know our homeboy marvin gay Oh, I, 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 I wish somebody would do a movie on you know, him, man. I really yeah. want that movie. Oh, somebody is doing know. one. I can't think right now. I read it not too long ago. Oh, Mark. Yeah. I would, yeah. I would love know, to see I that movie. I forgot who was playing. Marvin Gaye's That's music my favorite. is... His, his music is just inspiring Damn, to me. Yeah, I was doing yeah. that. But, it's timeless, right? You know, I, it's timeless. But, you know, all the DC artists, the DMV artists, man, I try to rep them. You know, yeah. And, um, but, you know, yeah. right now, people, you know, people know him a lot for his comedy, but... Now, Jamie Foxx is my guy right now, man. Let me tell hey. you something. Yeah. That man, he got he can people sleep on him. Yeah. I still listen to his CDs. Yeah. We Ooh. listen sometimes on Pandora, baby. I promise I you. Love but it. did y'all did y'all know stuff. that Jamie Foxx wrote T shirt in my panties on? I didn't know that, but I can see that. T shirt in my Yeah, he wrote that for Adina Howard. Yeah. I did not know that. But what I do yeah. know is he shocked me. I saw him sing the first time at uh, Pier 6 in Baltimore a long time ago. He was doing comedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he just bust loose one time and just started singing. <laughs> and he bust first, loose, bae. Yeah, like how I be doing. Do but, it. Uh, Never mind. Go ahead. Boy, Keep talking. Go ahead. Never so, mind. Forget it. So, there you Because <laughs> you know I will. <laughs> I die. Hey. But I don't want to upstate no more. So look, this is the thing. He dropped the joint and everybody thought he was playing because he's a comic. So everybody was like, he he on joke time, but he kept going with the song. Mm -hmm. And then everybody started straightening up like, yeah. oh. He and for real. he came yeah. and dropped that mm -hmm. album. And when I yeah. copped that album, and shout out to Tank too, because Tank yeah, wrote about absolutely. eight cuts on absolutely. that album. When I tell you that it was tremendous. Yes, it and was. And it's like a classic. Mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx did a classic. So yeah. Oh, look I who's in the Giz is in the building. Yeah. 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 Shout out to the Giz. Yeah. The shout Giz out to the, is in yeah. the Shout out to the Giz in the building. Yeah. August 19th. Make sure you guys get your yeah. tickets. Yeah. It's going to be lit. Get your tickets. Long, Saladin. Um... Um, what's my baby? Jesse, Jesse, and everybody in the building. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the whole Giz yeah. movement. So we're gonna get our um, artists on the stage That's now. Right. Um, anything you want, give them, give yeah, them all give your them stuff all before your you stuff get out there. Everywhere they can find you, everywhere they can uh, follow you. Can you can find me Twitter and Instagram at Who Is D Ward. Uh, you can look at my Facebook page. I got D Dot Ward. You know, D Ward Official Music dot com. The website. Uh, you can also find me under Showcase. I mean, we showcase entertainment. Yes, yes. Y'all make yeah. sure y'all go follow him and um, check out his documentary that'll be out in October, yeah. November time frame. And, uh, and that album. Yeah, and listen the to journey. some of his Definitely oh, yeah. get listen the album. Listen to some of his music. Yes, yeah, so right. on all your major music platforms, Apple, iTunes, Spotify. Go That's get right. Go give me your it. name. Give me the name of that album one more time. D-Ward. The journey. The, the journey. D Ward, the journey. Make sure the you guys journey. get that album. Make sure you get it downloaded. Do what you have to do. Don't yeah. bootleg it. Download it. Yeah. Support your brother. That's right. right Make sure you spend some Pay money with us. Man. Money Pay it forward, it. man. Yeah. Stop always yeah. bootlegging every damn thing. That's yeah. right. So, yeah. Pay tell it forward, tell man. Tell them. Send a shout out, quick shout out to my family. Yes. Love y'all, Dylan hey, Holly. Family. Danielle. Hey, hey y'all. Love you. Shout All out right. to the whole family. Shout Absolutely. out to your movement too, brother. We're proud. Amen. We're proud Appreciate of what it. you're Definitely doing. Yeah. So up yep. next, the one and only D Ward. D we'll be right back. Spotlight right. over the spotlight city. Over city I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Girl, you look good. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fee. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstars. superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Fee. I put the spotlight on your city.
Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only D Ward. Give it up, give it up. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Bring out, cause they hang out at the corner store. People scattered, his body shattered, yeah. Dropped him by the door His mama crying Cause he lay dying She cannot stop the pain Ain't no reason For this drama Yeah Now who's the hell to blame? Marvin said what's going on? Oh, oh, what's going on? It's oh so wrong. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, time for a change. What's going on? Uh, 45. What's going on? Give me that, y'all. Wealthy people don't understand. Homeless people don't understand. Yeah. They stare across the fence I paid my taxes Got no return I asked the government This world seems hopeless I hope you know this Yeah, if we don't take the stand See your brother, see your sister, yeah. Now lend a helping hand. Marvin said, Marvin said it's oh so wrong. Time for a change. This genocide, yeah, that plagues our streets today. Teenage pregnancy, dope and HIV. Hey, the young souls they're gone astray, and soldiers go to war. Some come back, no more, no more. We still wipe mama's tears Cause if we don't stop this hate Spread love, appreciate We might wind up losing our peace Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord Mercy, mercy me Can we find peace, love and equality or lose our minds and go home and say, Am I living my life in vain? Marvin said, What's going on? What's going on? It's oh so wrong. What's going on? Time for a change. What's going on? Yeah. Thank you. Man, give it up one more time for the one and only D. Ward in the building. Spotlight, give it up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. You want to say one last thing before we go? Hey, support your local artists. Support Spotlight over the city. Show your love. Show your love. Show your love. You heard it. Show your love. Show your love. And on that note, you guys, we got to get out here. Make sure you tune in every Thursday, 7 p.m. Spotlight over the city. Love hard. Live good. God first. Spotlight over the city. I put the spotlight on your city.
Carolina feel.